Welcome back guys. Today we will be learning about calculus of functions of several variables. Today we will be learning about Euler's theorem on first order. So let's get started. If f x y z is a homogeneous function of degree n then this is a statement uh, x del f del x plus y del f del y plus z del f del z it will be equals to n f of x y and z so this is the statement so let us see the proof for this see proof since f x y z is a homogeneous function of degree n function of degree n so f of tx ty and tz will be equals to the power n f of x y and z so let us consider this is equation 1 now let tx equals to u ty equals to v and tz equals to w so uh, this is equation 2 now differentiating one equation 1 with respect to t we get so we will differentiate this equation with respect to t so we get del f del t del del u and this will be del u del t no, no equation 2 we are differentiating equation 2 this will be del f del u so this will be plus del f upon del v del v upon del t plus del f del w dot del w del t this will be equals to t to the power n minus 1 n into n power minus 1 f of x y and z this was equation 1 differentiating equation 1 now simplifying it we get del f del u into x so if we differentiate this we get x plus del f del v y and del f del z del w z equals to n into t to the power n minus 1 f of x y and z so this is equation 3 now putting t equals to 1 in equation 2 putting t equals to 1 we get t equals to x equals to u y equals to v and z equals to w therefore from equation 3 we get x this will be del f del x plus y del f del y plus z del f del z that will be equals to now this is 1 n to the power anything is 1 to the power anything is 1 this will be n f x y z so this is our Euler's theorem so this got proved now let me write the Euler's theorem for second order so this will be if f of x y and z is a homogeneous function then of degree n then we get x del f upon del x plus y del f upon del y plus z del f upon del z 
whole square f will be equals to n into n minus 1 times f of x y z so this is your rest for second order th your rest theorem for second order let us see this example verify your rest theorem for f x y is this so solution so first we need to prove whether it is homogeneous or not so replacing f x from f t x and t y we get 3 t x whole square t y plus 3 t x t y whole square plus t y whole cube this will be t cube x cube plus 3 t cube x square y plus 3 t cube x y square plus t cube y cube taking t cube common x cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 y square x plus y cube this will be t cube f of x y z so it is a homogeneous function of degree 3 so now we need to so now we can proceed so what is this will be x so first we need to find this will we have to prove basically this is our statement for Euler's theorem we need to prove this so let us f x y this will be x is cube plus 3 x is square y plus 3 x y square plus y cube so first del f and del x this will be 3 x square plus 6 x y plus 6 y plus 0 keeping y constant and now del f del y this will be 0 plus 3 x square plus 6 x y plus 3 y square keeping x constant now therefore del x plus y del f del y LHS we are calculating the left hand side this will be now putting the value 3 x is cube 6 x is square y plus 6 x y we have multiplied this by x and this will this will multiply this by y this will be 3 x square y plus 6 x y square plus 3 y cube now taking 3 common x is cube plus 3 x square y plus 3 x y square plus y cube we get 3 f of x comma y so your theorem got proved so if you had any problem comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you